Hey guys, uh, my name's Ralph Gill, I'm from Knockout Performance. I'm a friend of Emma's and when she asked me to be a part of this project, um, I jumped at the chance. I think it's a fantastic project and dealing with a situation which unfortunately a lot of people are in. So hopefully um, we can get um, a lot of views on all the videos. I've seen a lot of the videos on here and they're all fantastic. Um, today guys, what we're going to do today um, is just mix it up a bit. Um, we're going to do a boxing and self-defense technique class today, okay? So just some basic movement, a few basic punches and some basic defense techniques. Um, this class you can do on its own or in conjunction with some of the other um, great hit classes on here, okay? Um, a little bit about me, I've been a professional boxing coach and personal trainer for about five or six years now. I started kickboxing when I was 13, so that was, what, 20 years ago. Um, so um, hopefully I can just impart um, a bit of knowledge and, yeah, let's have a bit of fun with it. Okay? Okay, let's go. Cool. Okay, guys, to start with, um, boxing is about being relaxed. Okay, we don't want to be tense. It's nice and loose, nice and loose. Okay, so guys, I just want you just to stand in neutral, your legs about shoulder width apart, and take one step forward with your left leg, okay? From there, and you can probably see there's a gap in between my legs there, okay? That's what you want. That's a nice, stable, neutral boxing position, okay? And from there, I want your hands there, okay? What we don't want is your elbows out. If your elbows are out, your points are gonna go off center, and also you're open to body shots, okay? So elbows nice and tight, and just lift your heel about an inch off the floor, okay? So you've got a nice little bounce, okay? It's a great workout for the calf as well. A lot of people don't realize how much of any workout um, boxing is for the legs. Uh, boxing is about 60 or 70% core and legs, okay? So, let's get in stance, make sure you've got that little gap, hands in, and now to move forward, guys, we're just gonna push off the back leg, okay? Just push, and push, and push, very good, okay? Now going backwards, same thing, we're gonna push off the front leg, okay? Back, back, and back. The reason we do that, guys, is to make sure that our weight is centered, okay? If we're leading with this front leg when we're moving forward, our weight is going forward, okay? We don't want that because um, our face is closer to the person. Secondly, we're off balance, okay? So let's try that again. Okay, just check your feet. Elbows in, lovely, and let's go. And one, and two, and three, and four, lovely. And let's go back. One, two, three, and four. Very nice, guys. Okay, shake off. Okay, the first punch we're going to do is the jab, okay? It's the most important punch in boxing by far. Anybody who says it isn't, well, they don't really know what they're talking about, okay? So, guys, back in stance, okay? Just check your feet. There's no harm in checking your feet now and again when we're doing this, okay? Like I said, the feet have to be nice, nice and centered, okay? Have that nice gap, okay, guys? So, feet in position, elbows in. Your hand position, you want one, your right hand, by the left, right hand of your um, side of your face, your left hand just a bit further out, okay? Because that allows you just to block any punches that are gonna come in, okay? And boxing is small, guys, okay? It's not like you see in Hollywood, where you got these big, big um, Hollywood punches, it's small, okay? So, with that jab, what I want you to do is just throw that left hand out, just like that, okay? And again, and again. What we don't want is this, okay? The reason we don't want that, because A, the elbow comes out. As soon as that elbow comes out, A, energy is going that way, B, the other person will see it coming a mile away, okay? So we're gonna keep the hand, nice elbow nice and tight, throw that punch and turn the fist at the last minute, okay? The reason the elbow comes out is because people turn their hand too quickly, okay? So you're gonna throw it there and twist at that last moment, okay? So. Get in stance, and let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, good. Six, seven, lovely, come on. Eight, that's it. Nine, and 10, good. Okay, shake off, very nice guys. I remember guys, when you're doing this, chin down. Okay, chin down, eyes at the opponent, okay? Now this time guys, we're gonna mix up the two. We're gonna do the jab with our step. Because with the jab, a lot of the power comes from 
stepping in. Okay, so same again, we're gonna go one, two, two, three, and four. Very nice, guys. Okay, let's try that again. Hands up. Very nice, nice and relaxed, guys. Nice and relaxed. And one, two, three, and four. Lovely, guys. Okay, shake off. So we've done the jab, okay? Now, one of the uh, most common but um, best combinations in boxing is the jab cross. Okay, so the cross, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the right hand straight through. When you're throwing a punch, guys, you want to be looking dead center, okay? So from there, there, okay? There, there. Now you can probably see what I'm doing with my core and my back leg, I'm twisting that core, because all the power, most of the power, about 70% of the power is gonna come from that hip and the core, okay? So from there, what we don't wanna do is just do that. You can't get much power, okay? So from there, when we keep this hand nice and tight, um, actually very important, guys, when you're throwing the punch with one hand, always make sure the other is back home, okay? Think of it as like talking on the phone, okay? So from there, throw, and when you throw this one, the right, this left hand comes back. So you're always protected, okay? So check your feet. And we're gonna, it's not about speed, okay? It's not about power, it's about technique. We've got a saying in boxing, power will always come with technique, technique will never come with power, okay? So hands up, elbows in, check your feet, and let's go. And one, good. And two, good. And three, and four, and five. And six, that's it, sit low guys, sit low. And seven, that's it. And eight, and nine, and 10. Very nice guys, okay, shake off. Good stuff guys, okay. Now we're gonna do a bit of a combination, okay? So we've done the jab and we've done the cross, okay? So we're gonna come in, check your legs, hands up. You guys, slight bend in the legs, okay? So you've got some a nice little room, nice little um, spring in the step. Okay, heels off the floor, about an inch off the floor. Remember, not ballet, boxing, okay? Just about an inch, okay? Elbows in, okay? We're just gonna go nice and easy. One and two, okay? On my count, and one, good. Two, good. Three, that's it guys, keep that chin down. Four, good. Five, that's it, good. Six, get those hands back. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very nice, guys. Okay, shake off. Good, okay, guys, hands up. This time, we're gonna close the distance a bit, okay? So we're gonna push off like we did last time with the jab. We're gonna jab and step, and then cross, okay? Let's try that a few times. And one. Good, and back, and two. Good, and back, and three. Good, and back, and four. Good. Good, great work guys. Okay, you're doing really well. Okay, what we're gonna do now guys is a couple of um, defense maneuvers, okay? So, the first one is called a slip. Okay, so if somebody's throwing a jab at you with their left hand, what you're going to do is just turn your left shoulder towards your right, just like that, okay? Just like that. So that hand comes harmlessly across. It doesn't have to be a big movement, guys. Um, like I said, boxing is small, okay? So all you need to do is move a hand or a glove width, okay? So if that um, hand um, punch comes in down there, you're just going to drop your, drop your head. That's it. That's all you want to do. There, okay? So let's try that a few times, okay? And one, good. And two, and three, and four, and five. Good, okay guys, shake off. This time, we're gonna add a parry, okay? So same as before, you're gonna drop this right sh um, left shoulder towards your right, and as you do that, your right hand is gonna come across, okay? So that punch comes in, there. Slip and parry. Okay, slip and parry, okay, there, okay, 
Slight bend in the leg when you do it, okay? And again, so we're gonna go one, good, two, three, four, and five. Very nice, guys, shake off. To give you a bit more um, protection, you can move your right leg outwards as well. The main thing, guys, you wanna get your head off center and middle, okay? That's where a lot of punches come in. So from th this time, we're gonna slip, parry, and step, okay? So there. And again, good. And again, good. And again, good. And one last time, there. Very nice, guys. Okay, this time we're going to add a bit of a counter. Okay, so same again. We're going to slip, parry, and step. Ready? And there. And from there, we're going to add our own punch. Okay, and uh, let's go. And one, good. And two. That's it guys, just check your feet. No harm in checking your feet, okay? And three, good. And four, and five, good. Shake off, guys. Um, guys, really well done. Um, I'll post another video next week with a, um, the left hook, the left to the body, and also a few bit more um, defense techniques like the roll, the bob and the weave. Okay guys, um, till then, um, be strong, stay safe. And I'll see you guys soon.